Hello everyone, my name is Vanisha. I am a proud part of Suraj. I am working as TGT Physics here. I take grades 9th and 10th. I have worked in two more schools earlier, but the strategies I learned here for my subject has boosted up my confidence to the next level. Whenever I go to the class for teaching a concept of physics, I consider the students, I consider my students as an empty paper on which I can write the different laws and facts about physics. I think that is a proper student friendly method. Uh, by doing this, student of every IQ level can match up to me and can understand the concept. Also, I use very different day-to-day uh, -day life activities and connect them with the concept for better understanding of the students. For example, if I want to teach them about the concept of scattering, I will definitely tell them that why the color of the sky is blue and why the color of the sun is red while the sunrise. Also, if I want to uh, tell them about the inertia, I will definitely prompt the question to them that if they feel jerk while boarding the school bus, uh, then the students get excitedly say yes and then there they can connect with the physics concept. I can use these type of experimentation in my classes while teaching physics is because my worthy principal ma'am and director sir are allowing me to do so. Uh, they have given us liberty to do every possible way to make the students understanding better. Also they have provided us with a full fledged physics lab with all the possible kits for better understanding of the students. So I want to ask you something. I have these two bowls. One is the lighter one and other is the heavier one. What do you think? Which one will touch the ground first? Some say is lighter one and some will say the heavier one. Now let's check what will happen. I am dropping these balls from the same height and see what happens. See, as you see, all of you are wrong. These balls touch the ground at the same time. Why? Because gravity is pulling these balls downward and the acceleration by which gravity is pulling them downward does not depend upon mass of the object. Even if I take a 20 kg stone and a 20 gram stone in my other hand, I drop it from the same height, both will touch the ground at the same time because acceleration due to the gravity that is small g does not depend upon mass of the object. So these type of examples I use in my classes to make students understand about the concept. Thank you.